My name is Billy. I'm Sierra, and this is our dog Jetty. We usually live and travel on a boat, a few different boats in fact. But now we are driving across the country as our new boat is being built. Join us on this all new Tarantula adventure. As we drive, bike, hike, paddle, and sail across the good old USA. Don't forget to subscribe. Good morning, you guys. So I've been here on the Columbia River for a few days now, cruising around Hood River and some of the towns to the east and west. And now, right this second at the moment, we're on the Washington side, which is just across the river. Um, we're at a little park here. We didn't spend the night here. I don't think you're allowed to spend the night at this park, um, but I spent the night at another cool spot. But that's what I want to talk to you guys about in this video today. It's been really nice camping around the Hood River area in the truck camper. There's been plenty of places for Jetty and I just to crash and it's pretty low key. And at the same time, there's been a lot of other people that I can tell who are doing the same thing in the area. I want to show you a few of the places that we've been staying around here in the Hood River area and talk about it a bit and show you some of the other cool rigs around the area as well. And just show you some of the cool spots here. But first, the wind is up right now. And when the wind is up in Hood River, we go take advantage of that. So we're gonna go back out winging uh, just for a little bit and then we'll drive around and I'll show you some of the cool spots around here. Look at, the, look at this view from the office right now. Just open the back door. There's a river right there. So I don't know, you can't really see too much right now but everyone's probably winging and kiting right up in this area. It looks fun. You gotta get out there. I'm gonna try something a little different today. I haven't used straps on this wing board yet. And all these guys are using straps and getting some air and stuff. And I like riding the waves, but let's try out some straps today. See how it goes.
you guys can hear me. We made it upwind to where these other guys are riding. Some pretty fun looking swells here, so we're gonna start surfing a little bit. So far, foot straps are comfortable, but I haven't tried to switch my feet yet. Nice little wave. Good girl. Oh my god, what an absolute blast. The wind was a little up and down, but still so much fun. I landed a, my first jumps ever, and I landed a bunch, which was really cool. I'm excited about that. Oh, so much fun. I'm exhausted. Guys, look, I've been wearing shoes way too much lately because usually I have these big, thick calluses on the bottom of my feet to protect them and I stepped on something, the hot pavement on my way there for like 10 seconds and I got this huge blister under here. Probably can't even see it. It's like this big. I gotta go back to not wearing shoes. All right, I'm gonna take Jetty for a long walk and then let's check out the rest of Hood River and this whole area. I think you guys will like it. Like I said, we're on the Washington side, the north side of the Columbia River. We're gonna head back over to Hood River. I'm gonna show you around around town a little bit. Really, really awesome little town. And we're gonna talk about some of the camping spots or just whatever, parking, sleeping spots around there. Um, but first, I wanted to tell you about that, the spot I've been staying at for a couple nights. It was up on the cliff on this Washington side, basically overlooking the Columbia River, just a little bit more east of here. It was absolutely beautiful. It was tough to get to because it was pretty, it was a pretty bumpy dirt road and pretty steep in some spots. You probably still could have gotten up there with two-wheel drive, 
um, but I was using four wheel drive to get up there. So I stayed there for a few nights and it was amazing, like spot to myself, just beautiful view. But then one of the afternoons, uh, some DNR type officer came over and she said that that road is closed. They've been trying to get a sign put there, but she's got to let me know that I'm not allowed to be there. So I was like, dang, I was like, well, if I'm gone by the morning, is that all right? And she basically didn't say no. So I just slept there overnight and then left in the morning. So that spot was over with after that, but it was a really cool spot. So from there, I've just been kind of camping around Hood River a little bit. There's a rest area up on the Washington side also um, that was right on the Columbia River, which is pretty nice. So to get back over onto the Oregon side, the Hood River side, we have to go over this bridge and it is the sketchiest bridge in the world for this rig. It's just so, so skinny. I'm like white knuckling it when I go over it. And there's a $2 toll each way. So like I try not to go over it too many times. Just If I'm gonna be on this side, I just stay on this side until I need to go back over to the other side. Oh, we're gonna go over that bridge now. You'll see how freaking skinny it is. I hate it. it feels like I'm gonna clip either the car or the bridge on the other side. It's so sketchy. Now a bridge. You guys can see Mount Hood way way out there in the distance. Oh my god, I freaking hate this bridge. Someone up here is nervous. I've never gone this slow over it. I think the speed limit's like 25. We're going like 10 miles an hour. All right, that wasn't so bad that time going super slow. First time going over it, I, it was just felt so sketchy. So here's one of the spots just on the side of the road that it's only three hours parking during the day, but it's for free. And overnight, like this whole strip is just lined with like vans and campers and truck campers. And that's how it is on a few of the roads around here. And we're right next to the river, which is right in front of us. They have a free dump station right over here. I'll show you guys because we got to fill up with some fresh water, free fresh water. Here's the event center right in front of us. So the, uh, and here's the other road that you can stay on. I've been staying, you know, wherever you just park on the side of the road. There's like, 20 vans lined up spaced out along the road this week is the uh a wind sports uh trade show so everyone's setting up um a bunch of booths all the brands are here in like the kiteboarding windsurfing foiling world so that'll be going on for the next three next few days and we'll be able to check that out which is going to be really cool it's going to be like just basically a kid in a candy store for that thing so you can see like here's the waterfront park grabbing some water real quick and there's a dump station right behind me just right on the edge of town here and like at least half the campers or vans have some sort of surfboards or kite gear or windsurfing gear on or attached to them So Jetty and I have found yet another parking spot. We'll probably spend the night here. Right, Jetty girl? 
there's probably, I don't know, 10 RVs and vans and stuff up and down this road, right by the waterfront, right by, by the event site over there. And something I just want to point out, like around this area is how, like there's a lot of people doing what we're doing. They're kind of living nomadic in their van or their camper or whatever it is. I could see other areas like that might allow this kind of thing getting a little dirty and people starting to abuse that a bit but here it I've been very impressed with how clean everything is how low-key all like the rigs are like everything looks nice everyone's staying very low-key like every all the rigs are constantly moving I mean I guess part of that is because um, in these parking spots where you can spend the night during the day you have to you can only park for free for three hours and then beyond that you could get a ticket so i think that probably helps keep vehicles moving making sure that they're not like just derelict vehicles that people are camping out in um but it's just very impressive i think it it's the the commute like the town that allows this and they keep the whole area clean and then it's also the the people in the rigs traveling are very respectful and quiet and clean and um, something else that helps a lot keep this place clean is that there are like gar a lot of garbages and dumpsters around that seem to get emptied often. So it's, you know, a place you can throw your small bag of trash every other day. And then there's public restrooms everywhere as well, as well as the free dump station that you guys saw. If we're going to be in a town, this is like the perfect town for us because not only do we have the kiting and all that stuff on the water, but because it's so friendly for this type of living and they have the resources and it's a really cool little town. Like there's a ton of awesome little coffee shops and restaurants and little places like that. So it's a really pleasant place to be. I think it works well for us, but it also works well for the town. I'm sure. I'm sure that, um, they get a lot of business from people traveling through and being able to stay and check it out and spend some time here. So just been very impressive and uh yeah before you guys go i just want to give you a quick little update i know we're pretty delayed with these videos these were shot in like late in like early fall um but we're catching up we actually have a ton that are ready to go after this one and there's only a few more left with the truck camper and then we're back on the water we can't wait to share with you guys what's next basically um we're still getting sea wind catamaran but we also have something else in between that's super, super exciting. We've been having a blast with it, so stay tuned. Also, I have something to ask you guys to do. We used to put a lot of you at the end of our videos wearing some Tula merchandise. So if you guys have any Tula merchandise, if you could snap a quick picture and send it to us, email is probably best, tulasendlesssummer at gmail.com. Um, landscape, that means not like that, but like that sideways hold your phone sideways when you take a picture is best but just send us a picture with your you in your tula merch that we can put them at the end of our videos we always like to do that we haven't been doing it recently so yeah send them our way so we'll get them in there thank you guys as always for watching and we can't wait to see you next time also our videos are going to start coming out a little more fre frequently maybe two to three a week so just make sure you stay tuned youtube is not showing our videos to even our subscribers sometimes so if you're not engaged or you haven't kept up with the channel a lot you might not get shown our next video or you might not get shown our future videos so always check back on our channel to see what you might have missed and we'll see you guys next time